We are currently 5-0. That means we are 7 wins away from 12-0. If you guys needed me to help you out with math, Brian Anderson is going to hit a shot that's going to turn into a double as it hits off the top of the wall. Should have been a solo shot. But hey, we'll take the double no problem. Kurt Suki, he's going to come along, hit a two-run bomb, Apo Taco. All I have to say is, if you ever see that Kurt Suzuki and he's available for you in a BR draft, you better go ahead and pick him up as we get the strikeout to actually win the game. Our controller disconnected, reconnected it again, and our opponent had decided to quit out regardless. Now, let's get 15 likes on this video, but if we do go 12-0, I must say, Let's actually get 25 likes. So make sure you go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Now, Logan Morrison, he starts it off with a solo shot. I'm like, all right, cool. Now it's Troy Tulowitzki's turn. He's going to get a base hit here. He should have allowed Ernie Banks to field that, but instead his second baseman went after it. I'm not too sure why. Brian Anderson is going to get a base hit here. And that is something I do have to say about Brian Anderson. He is a base hit machine. Kurt Suzuki, even when he's not trying to actually go ahead and carry the team on his back, he carries the team on his back. It is ridiculous the amount of base hits or the amount of of RBIs he has had on this battle royale run. It's almost as if the gods are working in order to protect them and show me that he is the best card in the game. When it comes to tops now cards, we get a two run bomb and then Amon Laureano, he says, you know what? I need myself a two run bomb too. He gets a two run bomb or actually a solo shot, not a two run bomb. I forgot my math right there. You know, I, I thought he had like seven base runners on base. I'm not too sure. We tried to be a little aggressive right there and it ends up biting us in the butt. I have a tendency of always doing that instead of just keeping them at two. I always try to make the play and give up a triple. This is going to allow him to actually hit a sack fly, drive the run in, and we get a pretty good throw by Ramon Laureano. So I thought we had a chance to actually gun him out, but with the head first slide, it ends up actually not mattering at all. He's going to get a base hit past our second baseman. Since Hernandez playing second base, he doesn't have the best fielding in the world. I was surprised to see him actually miss field or have horrible reaction and not get a bunch of ground balls this run but we get the final out so now we're six and zero. and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you're new or if you're old and watching and haven't hit it already now 2-2 two -two count to john carlos stanton what did you expect when you leave a fastball right over the middle for john carlos stanton a hit that is his signature series card that card is a cheat code. It's literally home run or miss, but it doesn't matter because Kyle Seeger says, I'll get us right back on the board with the new home run lines at the stadium. It helps us out a ton. And then we head now to the top of the third where Logan Morrison is going to start it off by getting himself a base hit. Now we're currently 6-0. So this game is really important if you ask me. Brian Anderson, he's going to get an Apo Taco base hit. He almost went to second base there, but we held him. And then Kyle Seager is going to come up again, and he's going to hit a three-run shot. So not only did he hit a solo shot, a three-run shot too. It's now 4-1. We head to the bottom of the third. 0-2 count. We end up striking out Joey Gallo, and I believe we are now 7-0. and So I'm extremely happy right now. I'm like, okay. All we need is five more games. Let's get them. This guy has a pretty good lineup. I hate facing David Peralta. And he starts it off by hitting a double with Cody Bellinger that's going to go ahead and hop over the fence. That was a great hit by him. It was an outside slider on the outside corner. He hit a two-run shot following that with Jorge Soler, who is an absolute cheat code in Battle Royale, in case anybody is wondering. So now we're heading towards the bottom of the third with Randall Gritchuk. His outfielder gets horrible reaction, and we get our a double so maybe we just got really lucky right here Troy Tulowitzki comes up next he's gonna get a base hit past the diving third baseman it is going to be able to drive in the run and now I'm starting to wonder who he has in left field because that should not be happening and to actually walk it off for us Brian Anderson is going to come along and hit a two-run bomb to make it a 3-2 game. I'm pretty sure I said that we were 7-0, but it turns out we're actually 9-0. We get Garrett Cole as our 12th game reward. Now, follow me on all social medias at BladeMist, same way the YouTube channel username is spelt. If you want to DM me anything personal or just keep up with the channel notifications, Troy Tulowitzki, he's going to start it off with a solo shot. So now we're popping, you know. 1-0, oh, 
Always like having a quick lead. Brian Anderson says, hey, Tulo, I hit a home run in my last game. I'm going to go ahead and hit a home run this game too. As it just leaves the stadium, giving us a 2-0 lead. Kurt Suzuki, maybe, or not Kurt Suzuki. I think that was Ramon Laureano. I'm not even sure because that's 74 speed. I'm pretty sure Ramon Laureano isn't really that fast. So that might have been Randall Gritchick, actually. He's going to get driven in regardless. And now we're popping. It's a 3-0 lead. I'm like, okay, we have this game in the bag. So we head towards the top of the third, 0-2 count. He's going to strike out, but the ball gets away from Kurt Suzuki, and he actually beats the throw to first base. So now Don Mattingly hitting. He gets an inside fastball, late jammed. Brian Anderson is unable to make a play. He's going to be able to drive in a run right here, and he gets himself a double while at it as well. So now 0-2 count, throwing a pitch in the dirt, hopefully getting the strikeout. Great block by Kurt Suzuki, and he tags out Mike Piazza. Now we are 10-0. and All we need is two more Ws in order to go 12-0. and So we head to the bottom of the first. Troy Tulowitzki, he's going to start it off by hitting a shot in the gap. We're going to be able to get ourselves a double out of this one. And if he would have made an error, I would have went all the way home. So Brian Anderson, 1-0 count. He's going to get one right back up the middle. I thought that slapped the pitcher in the face. We're going to be able to get a base hit. And then Kurt Suzuki, he says, infield in. That's perfect. I'll just hit it to the outfield, drive in two runs. And I'm telling you all, this kid has been just on fire when it comes to runners in scoring position. I would love to check out his batting average, actually. Kyle Seager comes up. He hits a bomb that's going to bounce right before the wall for a double. And I'm feeling extremely good right now. I'm like, all right, we're about to be 11 and 0. Ramon Laureano, he gets jammed, but it bloops in there for a base hit. I'm going to second base. I wasn't going to stop no matter what happened. So I started running back to second base. Now I send the runner from third home, and I'm trying to finesse a little bit. So I'm sending the runner from third back home. He throws it over to first, and I'm like, what in the world is going on? Why would he throw it over to first? And he tags us out at third. So, you know, I'm depressed again. But I said, man, I could have finessed an extra run. But it looks like it didn't even really matter because... Because Troy Tulowitzki, even though he does get jammed, he does get a base hit out of that. And I'm just like, dude, just gun me out, please. Because I'm trying to get myself to the 12th game before I start allowing the adrenaline to not allow me to focus. Because once I'm 11-0, I think I get a bit nervous. But, like, the adrenaline is rushing through me so, like, crazy, I want to say hard, that... I'm literally swinging so early, and it's because the pitch is so fat to me. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what happens with me. And I'm over here just running crazy on the base paths because I'm like, come on, man. Just gun me out. So we score seven runs that inning. Now, top of the third two outs, he decides to bunt with Buster Posey. I'm like, I'll take it. 11-0? and 0? Are you kidding me? Bunt with Buster Posey all you want. I'll take that any time, any day. So now we are heading into the 12th game. This is it. And I see a bronze switch hitting center fielder as the starter or the leadoff hitter. And I said, it's a PS Plus noob. It's over. It's over. So we head to the bottom of the first. Logan Morrison starts it off by hitting a solo shot. Then we get ourselves a base hit. Randall Gritchick is going to come along, and he's going to get a base hit the other way, and he misroutes it. He was trying to get that ball early, but he dove in a little bit too much in terms of the route he took with Vladimir Guerrero. That's going to allow us to get a triple. And then Derek Dietrich says, hey, I'm Derek Dietrich. Maybe I have done nothing this entire run, but this time around, I'm going to do something. He hits a two-run shot, and guess what happens right after that? The opponent says, I've had enough of this. It is time for me to allow you to go 12-0, and and we finally did it. Something we've done every single year in Battle Royale, we have finally accomplished it in MLB The Show 19. We just went 12-0 and in BR. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Now let's check out our rewards. So clearly, we have ourselves Mike Miner, 
Seth Lugo, the Battle Royale 85 to 89 player, Garrett Cole, who I was actually hoping to get a much better player, but I'll take it because I went 12 0. If I would have lost one game, I would have just quit out or forfeit the entry. I wouldn't have really played for that Garrett Cole, but we went 12 0, which to me was the most important thing to do. Now I literally have no stress anymore when playing BR because we're going to have the gold skin and there's nothing to stress about anymore. So let's go ahead and open these packs. I could have opened it right there, but I just wanted to go to the show shop myself and take one more look at that flawless pack 12 and oh baby we're either gonna get chris sale or jorge posada whichever one is selling for more we're actually gonna take chris sale because he sells for a lot more but anyways if you did end up enjoying the video make sure you guys hit that like button make sure you guys hit that subscribe button follow me on all social medias at blade miss and once again have a blessed day and night i will catch you all in the next one peace out